so, sorry about that, just adjusting the mic. Uh, this is actually going to be my first Let's Play video, and I decided that my f the first game I'm going to play is going to be Portal. I've actually, this is not going to be a blind play, it's actually, I've had played this game before, but it's going to be the first time I've attempted it without any codes. Okay, so here we go. Loading. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I know where I am, but... Okay. Hello, Hello. again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention and the Why am I in a cube? Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun... Oh. I'm sorry guys, I actually meant to turn the, uh, captions on. There we go. And learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Whoops. Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from... The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, that's gonna get annoying. There we go. Dialogue only, and that's what I thought I hit. Okay, let's go. The thing I did, did notice about this game is it's actually... You actually fly through it really quick. It's a really short Please game. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Yeah. Uh -huh. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay. Some people have noticed that, that the symbol kind of looks like a C, so instead of aperture, it's caperture. Which is kind of funny now that you think about it. Okay, here we go. Test one. Yep. <coughs> Test one. Please place the Sorry about that. storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Alright. Hey, you think she said super enough there? I don't know. First I'm hoping you guys can actually hear this. I was having a lot of problems getting the mic set up. And I know it doesn't really sound like that good of a quality mic. At least, not to my, um, ears. I am using a kind of a cheap mic, it's only, it's only like 20 bucks. I do intend to get a much better mic soon. You're doing very well. I just want to see Please if this is actually going to take off. Taste of blood is not part of any test protocol. I don't taste blood. Unintended side effects of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. I'm going to lose my teeth? Oh, portal gun! Portal gun, portal gun, portal gun. Run! Yump! Grab it! Very good. Fire! You are now Jump. in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, Yay. you can create your own portals. These intradimensional baits have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. 
Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Okay, that could have been important. Test Please three. Proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Isn't that what they say over in uh, England? When you're about to board the train. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have <coughs> her tested. Sorry about that again. There, just took a sip of water. Maybe that might help. Okay. Welcome test to test four. chamber four. You're doing quite well. <sighs> oh, I almost had it. In Portal 2, it's just easy to just shoot it there and it falls through, and whoa. Okay, that was interesting. I don't even know where the hell that would be. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we like, will seriously? not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I'm hoping you guys actually like this. I know I did a little voice there. I actually do do voices when I play the game sometimes. Test number five. Okay. Ah. I'm not going too fast for you guys. <clears throat> As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, Safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Okay. One other thing, guys. I actually do intend to remake this eventually once I get some things kind of sort, uh, sorted out with my... Uh, Unbelievable. Um, with Subject name here must be the pride of subject hometown here. <laughs> I want to get everything sorted out with my um, video editor. I do have the ability to add stuff onto these. I've actually spent quite a bit of time trying to actually get it to work right. But nothing I did actually really looked good. Well, good for these. So that'll come probably a little later. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. 
Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. What does it mean by unstationary? Well, I know what it means, but it just seems kind of unsafe. There we go. that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. At least she wishes me good luck. to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. I'm making the attempt. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Yeah, one thing I noticed the first time I played this was the elevator isn't there when you get there, so I'm thinking that maybe she actually didn't think you were going to solve this. So I'm wondering about the quality of test subjects she's had till now. Yeah. between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> that gets me every time. Okay. Whee! I'm just going to play for a little bit longer. I'm going to call it an episode. I 
have no idea how long it's going to take me to upload. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Good to know. should know is that I actually don't have the default keyboard settings. I actually remap them myself. I've been using these particular keys for like many years. I actually prefer them. Pill had actually got the um, the uh, platform moving. I do like this kind of music though. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call, yeah. If that were true, does that mean that if it actually... If I was from New York, it would actually be worth like a ton-ish? jumping the gun there. Actually, I think I'm going to call it the end of the first episode of Let's Play Portal right here. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to get these out. Hopefully it'll be within reason. Um, I'll put this one up and I'll see how it lasts for a few days. And if I get like a lot of responses, then I actually will probably start uploading, if not once a day, maybe a couple... Three, three times a week, probably. Kind of depends on what I'm doing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, and I will definitely make more of these. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, till then, this is Gary Model. Or, this is... Uh, yeah, Gary Model, signing off.